Hello everyone, in this video, we'll delve into the process of installing macOS on a Windows 11 computer using VirtualBox. This method allows you to explore the macOS operating system, offering an excellent environment for learning and working with both systems, all without the need for an expensive MacBook or iMac. VirtualBox is a robust and free virtualization software enabling you to create virtual machines and run various operating systems on a single computer. However, installing macOS on VirtualBox can be more intricate than other OSes due to specific hardware and software requirements. Nonetheless, with detailed instructions and patience, you'll find it manageable. Throughout the installation process, we'll gather several tools and resources, including the macOS installer, ISO or DMG file, VirtualBox, and some specific commands for configuring the virtual machine. This video will lead you through each step, from VirtualBox installation, virtual machine creation, to configuration and troubleshooting any encountered issues. Let's embark on the journey of experiencing macOS on Windows 11 right now. Firstly, I've prepared a text file containing the necessary download links and command files needed to install macOS on Windows 11. You'll copy the first link, which is the download link for the support file with the extension needed to set up and run the virtual machine on VirtualBox. The second link is for the latest version of VirtualBox, version 5. And the third link is for the ISO file of the macOS Monterey 12 installation, courtesy of the author Techrichard. Thank you to the author for providing this installation file. Once you've downloaded all three files as mentioned above, we can begin. Install VirtualBox software. This software has a user-friendly interface and a relatively simple installation process. After installation, navigate to the Extensions section, select the extension package file for VirtualBox that you downloaded in the previous step. Once the extension package installation is complete, you can restart the application. Return to the main screen and click on New. Enter a simple name in the name field and remember it, as it will be needed in the next step. For the ISO image line, navigate to the macOS Monterey file you downloaded in the previous step. Next, select macOS X and for the last line, choose 64-bit.
the virtual machine requires a significant amount of memory to run smoothly. I will select 10 GB for memory and choose either 2 or 4 CPUs for the processor. For the storage setup, you can create a virtual disk with a minimum capacity of about 30 GB. Pay attention to the C drive of your computer to make an appropriate choice. Double check the information and press Finish. Now, go to the settings section and adjust some settings before starting macOS. You can refer to a detailed video to see your settings, paying special attention to the operating system name. The final step before running the macOS operating system on the virtual machine is to edit this command according to the name you set earlier. Edit each line accordingly. Next, open command prompt with administrator privileges and execute each command. Once done, close command prompt and restart VirtualBox once again. Now, simply click Start to boot macOS Monterey on Windows 11. The installation process may take some time. Please be patient. Before installation, you need to select Disk Utility, then choose to erase the disk you created in the previous step.
After completion, go back and select the macOS installation. I understand it can be quite lengthy, taking around 25 minutes. Once completed, the basic setup steps before using macOS are straightforward. So, it's all done. Thank you for watching up to this point. Wishing you success, goodbye, and see you in the next video.